I might um, edit out um, some parts unless something interesting happens, but um, yeah, it's gonna de depend on you guys if you want to see everything the way I'm seeing it happening and as it's happening or, or not. There we have the bend, so I should be heading in this direction, roughly. I know that if I keep going here, if I was off by a few degrees in my direction, I know that I'm either gonna end up uh, in the study Zobor area or I'm gonna end up in uh, the airfield area or I'm gonna end up somewhere to the southwest which means that I'm gonna start hitting some very interesting targets uh, military bases uh, so I get a uh, chance to pick up some military loot which is very good which is something that I want slowly warming up uh, if you have I saw some water earlier as we were running if I was running this far with full military gear as in a, a, a vest uh, hat helmet balaclava all that stuff on me uh, you will most likely become hot it's gonna be yellow over here and eventually it's gonna get orange overheated so if you're moving in daytime or whenever and you know that you're gonna move great distances a good thing to do is that you put your character in water in the ocean or in one of those small uh, rivers or or anywhere because if your clothes are wet then it's gonna help cooling down your character so you're not gonna risk overheating because it's bad or okay find on the other side of the hill longest hill ever trying to zigzag a little bit but being picky I don't want to zigzag too much either because I don't want to lose orientation you know I took a direction from the bend back there so <laughs> I don't want to end up going in the wrong direction again I mean, it, it can happen and it's okay, uh, as long as you don't get too lost, as in uh, you want to go westish, but you end up going east or something. It's, a, it's, um, it's, it's not a good gameplay experience when you find out that you've been running for like an hour in the wrong direction. That's what you want to avoid. If you're playing with a friend, like both of you uh, come to the same server, oops, what was that? Or something new. If you're playing with a friend and both of you uh, arrive at the same server or you want to play together and you end up, you know, like this, uh, as we did before, and you don't really know where you are and your friend doesn't really know where he is, we usually use this type of orientation as we tell each other run in one direction until you find. Uh, I mean, if you're at the coast, that means that you should either run uh, north. Well, you should run north, as in, uh, depending on how you have the water, run inland. And the first place that you find, read the sign, tell your friend where it is, he reads the sign, and then you both try and find the village that is between you. And you move to those small, uh, shitty towns, and uh, it's most likely going to give you uh, the stuff that you want. You're going to find a little bit of food, a little bit of water, maybe a backpack, just as we did now. So once you meet each other, you should both be in a pretty good uh, condition and hopefully if you find some weapons uh, then you can at least um, yeah, defend yourself which is good now I'm moving uh, a little further uh, I'm gonna run a little, little longer than usual because I want to get to a whole different area I want to start getting closer to the, to the hot zones that's basically what this game is about. First, you have to master uh, survival, so you know how to keep yourself uh, well fed, not thirsty. And the next part, I guess, is um, 
yeah, trying to get the, as good gear as possible for you and your and your friends. And after that, I guess it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to PvP, kill players, kill bandits, or if you want to help people. I'd say that helping people is the hardest way and also the most rewarding way to play this game. Uh, but you need a little bit of know-how, you need to know how to play, and uh, you need a bit of balls actually. Because as I said, killing another player is the easy way out. And later on, when uh, as the DayZ standalone develops, I mean, they have uh, the ambitions to uh, add base systems where players can build bases together. And uh, if it resembles any other game, I would assume that it requires uh, resources, resource gathering, and you're probably going to need a lot of people to to defend it. So, getting to know people in uh, DayZ, as in getting close to the community. Perhaps you find a server like this one and uh, sometimes they have a um, TeamSpeak or uh, Ventrilo servers. It's a great way to, to getting to know people. And once they implement all that, if you have a small group of people that are playing, taking turn playing, then you know that your, uh, your bases are going to be safe when you're not playing. And uh, yeah, I think it's overall it's going to be a hell of a lot more rewarding. But at the same time, learn how to PvP, learn how to shoot, so that you at least know how to do it. Which is uh, the early stages of the of the alpha, as, as it is now. Uh, it's a good time to to try to learn how to uh, how to fight. Let's see what we got here. Do we have any signs? No. I'm gonna try and see if I can. Uh, that's also a very good way to, to find uh, to orient yourself. When you know where you are, if you see something, uh, you know exactly where you are. You can see on the structure if it's north, west, etc. You can look at the sun. Now, it, the sun moves, sure, but it moves slowly. So it might give you enough time to. Uh, to, uh, if you if you know that the sun is to the west, and you can actually use the sun as a, a means of uh, navigating. Here a zombie, which means no one's been here, which is good. Vitamins, I don't think it's implemented yet. We don't get any benefits from eating vitamins right now, at least. So I'm not going to bother bringing it. What do we have? Crap. Nice. Hmm, more crap. Shit. Hmm. This isn't bad though. So I'm gonna open up one of my cans, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna move on. The reason why I'm a little bit more casual in my playstyle right now, and I'm not closing the doors and guarding and everything, is... Well, the odds of another player showing up here is really, really small. But you shouldn't be, you know... Uh, Negligent. You, sh you, sh you should always be prepared of a play showing up. But then again, to avoid getting an ulcer, <laughs> there are some times where you can say that, okay, this is a shithole. This is the, mo the best definition of a shithole possible for a, for a city or an encampment. And it's in the middle of nowhere. Now, if some player shows up right now as I'm streaming and fiddling, then go at it, I don't mind, kill me, it's okay. Because if you're out here like me, then you're also an idiot. So I mean, why not? I'll reward you with it. Okay, we got here, umbrella sack. If you have a lot of space, and if you're a person who plays the lottery, and you believe yourself that you're gonna, or are capable of having so much luck, uh, to find a fishnet in this game. I think one fishnet spawns... Uh, has a chance to spawn every time the server goes down and comes back up. And you can find them in fishing boats. Now, if you do have a burlap sack and you find the fishnet, you can actually uh, craft yourself uh, a ghillie suit, a ghillie hood, you can craft uh, stuff that you can camouflage your weapon, which is really cool. But I wouldn't recommend you 
uh, <laughs> running around with those burlap sacks hoping to find the fishnet. It's better off if you find the fishnet and then you go looking for the burlap sacks. They're far easier to find. Just saying. <sighs> there we go. The city over there. I know which one it is. Let's keep moving. I wonder what state my shoes are in. They're still pristine. That's some damn good shoes considering how much uh, distance I've been running lately. My hunger and thirst is uh, maxed out. Uh, my inventory is full. I mean, if I do run into that city, is there anything in there that I might want? Well, yes, there's a scope, but it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. You do want to kind of avoid running into civilizations unless it's necessary. And uh, if I needed food, if I needed some drinks, etc., then yes, I will go in there and yes, I will look for a scope. But there's no barracks there, there's no uh, fire stations, there's no buildings in there that might actually upgrade my gear that I'm running with right now. I'm pretty content with what I have. I have a Mosin, sawed up shotgun, uh, I got a really ugly stupid helmet, ugly glasses, uh, so yeah, I'm good. The use of helmet kind of rapidly falls off once you uh, are not in the the PvP areas uh, anymore. So unless you want to look like one of those dorks that use helmets, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. But um, if you're born in the 80s like I am, <laughs> and you think it's cooler to be an idiot than safe, then you do this. <laughs> because uh, yeah, you want to look good, right? Um, previously you could uh, fill your water bottles um, from these uh, waters, but you can't anymore unfortunately. Now is a good time to uh, do something uh, I would say moronic. Uh, no, I won't actually. But I'm gonna tell you what you could do if you come up here and you're out of food and you're shit scared and you don't want to go into a city. You can actually use uh, the knife or a hacksaw and you can saw off the water bowl. Now, I'm not gonna saw off my, my last one and only water bowl, but you could. And if you do, you could uh, take one of the worms that we got earlier with the hoe, put it in, and you can go into the water and you can actually catch small fish. Which is uh, a good food source actually. Let's see where we're going. Ah. Uh, whoa. I heard someone. Something. Could be an animal. Oh yeah, it's that hair. Thank you, thank you, rabbit, for soiling my underwear. Asshole. Alright, good. We've been moving a bit southwest-ish. Uh, so we've hit uh, Chernal. This is not a city that we want to visit at all. Because uh, this is like the Wild West. You don't want to go there, trust me. Unless you uh, <laughs> are suitably geared, you get some people with you to back you up, that kind of stuff. And the reason why I'm heading here is because I'm gonna help you find your first uh, super spot for loot. And I'm also gonna show you a place where. Uh, 
where you're gonna find a lot of players if you wanna engage in, uh, into fighting.